Shalom, shalom, shalom. Only of all praise, glory, and honor. I told her y'all by saying, Hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Elohim of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior and Redeemer of Israel. I'm Torah Tanakh Old Testament, the Book of Life, the Book of Remembrance, Ten Toes Down. One love to all the chosen ones that's out there. One love to chosen remnant and the chosen elect of Israel. I love you all. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikhail. Subscribe. Like, comment, share, and turn post notifications and turn the bell. So each time I drop and upload a video, you'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, ching. And I hope everyone is having a day of healing because I'm also having a day of healing for today's topic subject and title is going to be about the dark night of the soul is what I'm experiencing right now okay so the dark night of the soul is is when is a is a difficult a painful period of someone's life. It's, this is when everything is going wrong. Everything is just going so wrong in your life. It's like nothing is going right. All the walls are closing in on you. It's like it just a this is a period that's so difficult and painful and and you are hurting you are hurting and dying inside you don't know how you're going to get out of the situation you don't know how to make yourself feel more at ease you're like it's like everything is going wrong in my life. Nothing is going right. How can I stop this? It's like it's like someone's wondering, how can I improve this, make it better, and just go away? How do I get myself out of the situation and the circumstances? And this is a this is a, this is a period that's that's dark. Yeah, you were in a very dark place. Right now, you don't see no light. All you see around you is darkness. All you see is pitch blackness. You don't see no light in your aura, in your orbit, all you see is darkness in your aura and, and in your orbit. Everything that's surrounding you is darkness. No goodness. It just it's, it's like it's bad luck. It's like it's like you're on a it's like you're on a string of bad luck. It's like you feel like you are jinxed. You feel like you are jinxed as someone. You may feel like someone has put a hex on you, doing roots on you. 
you just feel like you are jinxed. And it's like you're not seeing no good luck. No good luck is coming your way. Like I said, it's like you're jinxed. Like someone has put a hex on you. Doing roots on you. Casting bad spells on you. Black magic. Dark magic. And place a curses on you. It might feel like, because everything is going so wrong, it might feel like someone has sacrificed your name. They put you up as a sacrificial lamb. They got your name <laughs> like a lamb being led to the slaughterhouse. That's how it may feel to you. But with the most high, they can't do but so much to you. And with the most high, Yah on your side, they cannot kill you. They cannot take your life. The most high will let them do other bad things to you, yes, because. The Most High allows evil, so he will let them do a lot of other bad things to you. But if it's but if it's not your death date, if the Most High has not set you up for that death date, then it cannot take your life. It cannot kill you. They can only just try to make your life miserable by sending you a lot of bad energy, bad luck, sending you a lot of bad vibes and the evil eye. The dark night of the soul is very painful and it just, it brings so much sorrow and grief into your life. And, and a lot of times, the night of the dark soul is brought on by a trauma. Like, if you lost a loved one, then you're grieving very bad. Or like, if you, if you caught a major illness, like cancer, leukemia, if you got a major illness, they can put you in a bad depression. And so losing a loved one, a close friend, you catching a illness, or something bad happened to you. Or you was in a bad car accident and got hurt. Or your car is just messed up real bad. And usually this usually you're going through a, a trauma, a traumatic ex experience that brings on the dark night of the soul. Yes. You're going through a traumatic experience. A bad trauma, something very bad has happened in your life. And that brings on the dark night of the soul. And once the dark night of the soul has kicked in, your light has dimmed. You feel worthless. And your light is just dim. You shut off that light, and right now, in this period, you're just in total darkness, wondering, how do I get out? What is the way out? How do I get out of this total darkness? What is the way out of this total darkness? 
because right now I'm going through a dark night of the soul experience because like I told y'all my car it broke down on me and it's still in the shop I do not have my car back yet but before my car broke down on me it's like I got hit in the back of my car two times the first time I got hit in the back of my car it was a minor hit it was a light hit it was not a hard hit so it wasn't that bad but the second time I got hit in the back of my car This big van, a big van, a big van hit the back of my car and it was a hard hit. The second time it was a hard hit and, and it damaged the back of my car. I was lucky that I was lucky that I did not get hurt. I was lucky that. I didn't get hurt and I wasn't in no pain but it was a very hard hit and I felt the impact I felt the impact of the bad hit and it damaged the back of my car so I was like I gotta get I gotta save up money and get that fixed but then my car it broke down on me and it's still in the shop, and I still don't have my car. And you know, I'm Uber Eats and Grubhub food delivery driver, so I make money with my car. I <laughs> I work with my car because I'm a food delivery driver, so I need my car. I make money with my car. My car is my money maker. And so I, I, I need my car because my car is for working. So if I can't work, I ain't got my car, I can't work so now I'm getting behind in bills. I'm getting farther and farther and farther behind in bills. So right now, I this is my dark night of the soul that I'm experiencing and I can tell it just it's just evil it's evil forces because my car got the first time my car got hit in the back and the second time my car got hit in the back they were like a month apart from each other it was like the first time was in September September 8th the day before my birthday which is on September 9th and the second time my car got hit in the back was in October and 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 it was like around the 7th or the 8th next month my car got hit in the back and it was around the same time like around the 7th and 8th it was around the same time that my car first got hit in the back in September so like I got hit in the back my car got hit in the back one month apart from each other. I'm like, that's crazy. My car got hit in the back one month apart from each other. And I was like, I'm just thinking and saying that is crazy. I mean, I'm like, that is ludicrous. That's bananas. I'm like, what the hell is going on?
I'm like, what the devil is going on? As the old people say. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, this don't make no sense. I'm not stupid. I'm like, this is a kind of evil forces. Someone and people is coming up against me. I'm a targeted individual. I'm being gang stalked. Someone is trying to also take my life. Someone is trying to kill me. Someone wants me dead. Someone wants me out of here. I'm like, I'm not a slow leak. Another old saying that my mother said, my grandfather used to always say, my mother, father, my grandfather always said, I ain't no slow leak. I know old people got some good slangs. I like some of these slangs like, I ain't no slow leak. I like the old saying, and what the devil. <laughs> I like some old people, old slangs and sayings. Because I find myself saying they, I find myself saying they are old slangs and sayings. Because I like it. Yeah, but back to the conversation and story. I'm like, I ain't no slow leak. But I fear nothing because... The Most High Yah is on my side. I, I pray to Him. I read my Old Testament. And I meditate and concentrate on Him. I meditate and concentrate on His Word, His Holy Scripture. So, if it's not my death date, then they can't kill me. They can't get rid of me. <laughs> They cannot kill me if it's not my time. So my life is in the hands of the most high Yah. So but but I'm still human and going through all this is so painful and it's stressful. And going through all this mess is so painful. And stressful but you know, another 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 thing of going through the dark night of the soul is like it's incompleteness and impureness and imperfection of your relationship your relation with the Most High. Another prayer you're going through the dark night of the soul is the Most High is testing you because he wants to get your attention on something. He wants to make you more closer to him. I want you to be more stronger in him. So apparently you had a lot of imperfections, impureness, and incompleteness with your connection to the most high. To your God. It's something that you was not totally doing right. It's something the most high seen ever in you. It's something in your life that he saw ever with. So he allowed you to be tested. So he brought evil. So he brought evil on you. Or he allowed evil to be done to you because it's to catch your attention or to test you. He wants to humble you. He wants you to get more pureness, more completeness. I want you to have more completeness. I want you to have more perfection in 
your connection, your relation, and your relationship with him. Yeah, but when you go on the dark night of the soul, will you come out of this? Think of how you're going to better your life. Better yourself. So you try not to end up in the same situation again. You may have a lot of dark night, other soul experiences. The dark night of the soul is not just one time. Yes, the dark night, uh, the dark night of the soul is not just one time. It's not just a one time experience. You might have a lot of dark night, other soul experiences. You might have many dark night, other soul experiences. But you got to think when you come out of this dark night, other soul experience think of how you is going to do different how you're going to do different and be different in a much better way so so you try not to end up in the same in the same situation and the same predicament again and like I say, a dark night of the soul, it, it can come to you many times. You might face a dark night of the soul many times. And if you do, then because the dark night of the soul, it can be a cycle of dark night of the soul experiences. But you always got to think, if you go through a cycle of dark night experiences, each time you go through a dark night of the soul experience, always think, what can I do if I get, always think, if I get out this dark night of the soul experience, how I'm going to improve my circumstances. How can I make sure that I don't keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again? How can I stop making the same bad decisions? How can I make more good decisions and, and have more better thinking and make more better choices because think say, say to yourself as soon as I come out this dark night of the soul experience or as soon as I come out of my many dark night of the soul experiences my cycle of it each time I come out of a cycle of a dark night of the soul experience each time I come out I'm going to do much better I'm going to be way better and more focused I'm going to have a better clarity of mind I'm going to have a better strong I'm going to, I'm going to have a better and stronger mind constitution better clarity I'm going to have a better, I'm going to have a stronger, I'm going to have a stronger mind constitution and I'm going to have better clarity of the mind. I'm going to have better clarity 
of the mind, of the body, and of the spirit, of the soul, of the heart. I'm going to, I'm going to get more pureness, more completeness, and more perfection with the Most High God. I'm going to, I'm going to have be stronger and closer to my Creator. So, so I come out a cycle of a dark night experience. I come out a many different cycles of dark night uh, of the soul experiences. Each time I come out, I'm going to be on the right side. Each time I come out, I'm going to be on the right, the wider and better path. Because each time you go through the dark night of the soul experience, there's a lesson to be learned. And the lesson is Learn from your mistakes. Don't repeat them. Do better. Always do better. And always strive and achieve for more achievement. Better success. More greatness. More highness. More perfection. Always strive for more perfection. Always strive to be more perfect. Each day, always strive to be better than the day before. And always strive to be more perfect the next day. And always strive to be more perfect. The next day from each other. Yeah, so that's, and like me, as soon as I come out of my dark night of the soul experience, I know what I'm going to do. I already said what I'm going to do. Because I procrastinate. I got to work on that. I have a weakness of procrastination. I got, I got to stop. I got to stop being so slow with getting things done. I got to just stop. Stop procrastinating. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get things. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to stop sleeping late. I'm going to start getting up earlier. And I'm going to not be so slow. I'm going to be faster on doing things. And I was work I'm going to work more harder. As soon as I get my car back and I get back to doing my food delivery, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to work harder. I want to work. Yes, I want to work more days and work and work a little more longer hours. I'm going to work more harder. I'm going to be more focused. That's what I'm going to do as soon as I come out of this dark night of the soul experience. And I, I might experience more dark night of the soul experiences. But my next one, but each time my next dark night of the soul experience, or if I get or if I get any other dark night of the soul experiences, each time I'm gonna think as soon as I come out, what needs to be done better. As soon as I come out, what needs to be done better? What do I need to shift? In a better direction. What improvements need to be done on my behalf so I can keep improving my life better, better and better and better each and every single day, each and each and every month. Each and every week, each and every year, as long as I'm down here alive on this earth, 
in this world, in this matrix. Okay, so of this message was encouraging, inspiring, inspirational, and motivational. It's all the chosen ones that's out there, all the chosen remnant and the chosen elect of Israel that 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 if any of you is going through a dark night of the soul experience to just take it because all you can do is just take it until it fades out, until it fades away. Yeah, so you can't do nothing right now. All you can do is just sit and wait and let it take its course. So, so just so just let it take its course until it fades out, until it fades away, until it feathers out of your life. And so you come out of this dark night of the soul experience to think. Why are you going through this? And soon as you come out of this, think of what needs to be done. Think of what you need to do to improve yourself, improve your life so that you never go through this so that, so that you try to never go through this so that you never try to put yourself in the same situation and predicament ever again okay I'm a cow subscribe like comment share and some post notifications and turn the bell so each time I each time I drop and upload a video you be notified. So turn about ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please hit that thumbs up. Ching. And I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll see you all in my next video. I'm Torah Tanako Testament, the book of life, the book of remembrance. Ten toes down. Yeah, and, so, and if you can watch your dark night of the soul experience, then could try to have more perfection, more pureness, more completeness, and more oneness, and better unity with your creator, your most high God. And I want to give our praise, the glory. And honor as well as I got by saying hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yahweh, 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 praise the mighty Yahweh. I praise this name seven times. Preja, 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 preja. I praise his name seven times again. Yeah. I meant to say that when I was talking about what brings on dark night of the soul experience, I meant to say that if you get in a bad if you get in a bad car accident and you get hurt real bad, you might get some broken bones. You might have got a broken leg in a wheelchair and can't walk right now. Got a broken back. Your spine might got messed up. You may got a broken arm or, or your neck might have got hurt. 
and my quads. Oh my God, hurt in your neck. But this car accident, you got hurt and damaged, and you got hurt and damaged in this car accident, and you've been laid up in the hospital. You can't do it for yourself. You can't work, and you're out on sick leave. And you got hurt, and you got hurt, hurt so bad that it's taking you longer to return back to work. It's taking you longer to return back to your job, and all your sick leave and days might be up. So. You can't work, lose the money, get a further, further back and behind in your bills. And you're hurt and laid up. <laughs> you can't do it for yourself. You can't get around good on your own. You can't get around for yourself. And, and being like that is like being an invalid. It's like being handicapped and being disabled. And that can send you to a bad depression, bad stress, and, and can cause and give you bad panic attacks and bad anxiety attacks. That can put you in a dark night of the soul experience. I, I don't want er, earlier. I, I was. I didn't think of it <laughs> early. Early, it didn't come to my brain, but it just it came back to me. So I made sure that I add this in. I made sure that okay, I put this in. So I want to give enough information of examples of what put people into a dark night of the soul experience okay and you always righteous all the time day and night winter and summer you always holy you always fair you always just your way is perfect let your way be magnified let the name of your way be magnified Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. And again, my love to the chosen ones that's out there. My love to the chosen remnant and the chosen elect of Israel. One love. I love you all. Hallelujah. And remember, y'all will love you and so do I. And I sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. Bye, chosen ones. Bye, chosen remnant, chosen elective Israel. Bye. Bye. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive.